Good evening and thanks for joining us. Well, are you willing to get down and dirty? For a good cause, of course. Hundreds of local women proved themselves ready to do just that today at the first ever Dirty Girls Thunder Bay Mud Race. 750 participants ran the 5-kilometer course, overcoming 16 military-style obstacles that stood in their way. Here's Ryan Benazzo offering us a look in at all the day's fun. Those interested only in good, clean fun need not apply. These women, however, aren't afraid of a little mud. 750 adventurous ladies took part in Thunder Bay's first ever Dirty Girls Mud Race, braving all forms of filth along the way. Woo! That mud pit is one of 16 obstacles constructed by the Lake Superior Scottish Regiment, along with the hay bales, the grease pole, and many others. Getting their trace, sorry. These competitors loved them all. It was a lot of fun. It was amazing. It was, it was, amazing. Yeah. It was so much fun um, working together, encouraging each other, getting filthy, absolutely <laughs> filthy. Um, so it was a lot of fun. But what was the toughest part to the five kilometer course? <laughs> that, uh, like under the wire pit kind of came out of nowhere. We didn't know it was the first one. I mean, just, you're wet to begin with. I didn't like climbing that wall. Um, I think the pole was full of Vaseline. We just slide down. I couldn't even get up on it. Getting the courage to sign up for it. Really? <laughs> yeah. Other than that, like the obstacles are pretty challenging, but it made you work together as a team, and I think it brought us closer together. Today's race has raised more than $178,000 and counting for the Canadian Cancer Society. The final total won't be known until later tonight. That number already is incredible for a first year event and something to be proud of, say competitors and organizers alike. For a bunch of women to collectively do something like this and raise so much money is amazing. And it just goes to show that like Thunder Bay as a community can really pull it together when we need to. It feels awesome, like such a great cause. A lot of money raised, it feels great. Amazing things happen when you get a group of women together that's doing something for an amazing cause. So Organizer Sharla Brown says she couldn't have imagined the event would be such a success so quickly. And with this year's race now in the books, she's already thinking ahead to 2014. As long as the Lake Superior Scottish Regiment is on board to build our course and this old barn is happy with things at the end of it all, um, so far so good, everything's looking thumbs up, but um, I couldn't be more excited to start next year's event. Welcome news to this year's racers. I'm going to do it again. It's so much fun. <laughs> Ryan Bonazzo, TBT News. Well, it's been a long and winding journey for budding country music star Jada Dreyer. And now the Thunder Bay born singer songwriter is back in our city performing at the CLE. It's only gonna keep them coming back for more. They'd be knocking down my door if I could follow this up. The 24 year old is up for Female Artist of the Year at the upcoming Canadian Country Music Awards following the release of her debut album titled I Am Jada Dryer. It's an honor, she still has a hard time wrapping her head around. I'm in that category with uh, Carolyn Don Johnson and Terry Clark and Michelle Wright, and then there's me. <laughs> and uh, it's weird because I'm, I'm good friends with all of those ladies and I've looked up to them my entire life. And uh, the nomination came as a complete surprise, and Carolyn Dawn, she's taken me under her wing since I, I very first moved to Nashville, and she always joked about how, you know, one of these years we're going to go to the CCMAs, and I'm going to hand that award down to you, and she texted me the day that the nominations came out, and she said, this is the year, this is the year, and so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a trip. Dreyer knows a thing or two about trips. Born in Thunder Bay, she moved to the U.S. as a child, where from the age of 12 to 17, she called seven different states home. She now lives in Nashville. She believes that the nomadic lifestyle has greatly shaped her music. And uh, Dreyer will be performing again tomorrow before traveling back home on Monday.